Hey everyone, Leonard Kinsey here. Um, obviously, I review things on my channel all the time. Booze and plane flights and Airbnbs and drones. <laughs> um, and I only review stuff that interests me and this is uh, no different. So uh, it's amazing that I don't already have one of these. So this is a mini breathalyzer. It's on Amazon and so the company asked me to do an unboxing and a review. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's open this up. And it's packaged in plastic. Let's see what else we got in here. Instruction manual. All right, let's take the plastic off. So we've got this, uh, got the breathalyzer. It's pretty cool, it's small. It's got a keychain mount. And then looks like four additional mouthpieces. So you can, I guess, pass it around to all your friends and uh, make sure that I'll see who's actually capable of driving. All right, uh, it takes, looks like it takes uh, AAA batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get some batteries. So I'm back, I've got two AAA batteries. Go ahead and put those in here. Standard. Turn it on and it's doing a countdown. It says warm up. It's going from 10 to 0. Okay, now it says blow. Recommends 3 to 5 seconds. Alright, now let's see what it says. Oh. Now it says uh, 0, 0.00. So that seems pretty accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a drink. And uh, then I will come back 15 minutes after I have the drink and blow in this thing again and see what it says. So I'm going to drink a uh, Magic Hat Low Key Session IPA. Um, not a lot of alcohol in this thing. Let me see what it is. 4.5%. So really, I shouldn't test very high in 15 minutes. Cheers. Not bad. Okay, so I finished the beer. Um, again, it's a pretty low alcohol beer, but I haven't had a lot to eat today. So I might blow pretty high. Okay, now we wait for the results. 0.08, so I should not drive. And it is beeping like that and saying, danger, to tell me, don't be an idiot, don't get in the car right now. Wow, okay. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that I was not ready to drive. So, <laughs> I'm going to have another beer and see what happens. Now this one is a Magic Hat, uh, HIPA, it's an India Pale Ale, 6.7% alcohol, so a little higher than the last one. So, I'm going to drink this, then I'm going to wait 15 minutes, and then I'm going to blow again. So, uh, cheers. Good beer. See you in 15 minutes. Alright, so I finished the second beer. Waited about 15 minutes, ate some chips, so maybe that absorbed some of the booze. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, let's see what it says. 0.14. So uh, danger, I definitely shouldn't be driving now. Okay, so the breathalyzer from Emerywood on Amazon is actually really cool. Um, it seems accurate. It's giving me consistent results. Um, and it seems like what I'm blowing is about what I should be blowing. I like that it's got multiple, multiple mouthpieces so that you can uh, give it around to all of your friends to see who's blowing lowest, although obviously if you're all blowing over the legal limit, then none of you should drive. Um, but yeah, it's easy to read. The indicator's bright. Uh, it beeps pretty loud if you're blowing over the legal limit. It says danger, like even if you're drunk, 
it's pretty obvious that you, you shouldn't be driving. It's light, uh, it works on two uh, AAA batteries, and I, I don't know what the battery life is, but it seems like it, it'd be pretty long. And it's, it's relatively cheap. Um, I really should have had one of these before. I should have had one of these for a while now, but it's cool that it's come down. These have come down so much in price and they're so portable and apparently pretty reliable. There's really no good reason for anyone who is of drinking age and who's going out to bars to not buy one of these and just be a responsible human adult. Anyway, again, highly recommended. I was paid for this review, not not a lot, and I was given a free product, which is super cool. Uh, but uh, you know, if I hadn't liked it, you guys know I would have either just not done the review or would have posted a negative review, as I've done for many things in the past. This I can recommend. So Leonard Kinsey out.